Best time I had sex. How many boyfriends have I had? Who gave you the worst head? Do I like girls? How many people am I currently talking to right now? Yes, who do I have in my eyes? Somebody said, can they have me if they want me? I be saying you post your girlfriend, so it's like, what's today? You actually said that and then posted your girlfriend, so it was like, And that's today's video. Um, listen, I'm gonna try to answer every question. I don't have like I'm not gonna. I don't have no like. If you don't answer the question, we just wanna get into it, okay? Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to answer every question. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. If you new, subscribe. Y'all know the drill. Like, reshare. I'm up and coming, so we finna get straight into it. We gonna start off smooth. I look, you know the question because they gave them to me. But Whatever. So the first one is who do I have in my eyes? In my business much? It's like no. Um, I don't know. Like I feel like if y'all be around at the shoot, you might have seen him one or twice or a couple times. I don't know. You just gonna have to pay attention to me. But I do have my eyes on somebody. Like my brother said they name. I look you don't know how the video go and don't be irritated with me. But what I'm like, I do have my eyes on some, right? But y'all don't know him. Just tell me I don't know what to say. <sighs> Who is the worst influencer you've met so far? Um. I feel like I haven't really had a chance to be around a whole bunch of influencers, honestly. Like, Cause I don't know, like I be around people, but I wouldn't say like, oh, that's an influencer. This kind of juicy. How many boyfriends have I had? In a business, um, I only had one boyfriend. Like, I guess boyfriend. I was we talked in 2018. Um, I only ever talked to one boyfriend. I don't know what to say. People be like, "Dang, only talked to one person." You only with one person. Yeah. Yeah. And if y'all um, if y'all catch a video, they made me call him for a dare. So I don't know. I don't know. How old was you when you lost your virginity? Y'all gonna be, people be thinking I'm crazy, but if you look down my page, you will hear me say it, like, I don't be doing nothing, like, I'm still locked in, I'm still here with it, so, that's the real tea, y'all know, that's why, like, sometimes, I be feeling like people be trying to fake dry, like, you and me, and I'm like, you got a rude awakening, cause, like, you can't even do nothing with me, like, I feel like sometimes people be thinking they hit a lick with me, and it's like, it ain't even that, not most of the time, but I, I be feeling energy sometimes people be trying to talk to me, like, which was, What's to you? What's going on? It's not a Do I like girls? Um, I don't like girls now. <laughs> I don't like girls, but I feel like I love women. Like, I feel like women are like art to me. Like, I like the way a woman, a woman shape. Like, it's just like you a woman, you could really do all things. I love the empowerment behind it. And I'm infatuated with girls. Like, I just like how they look. Like, everything about them. Like, naked with clothes on. Like, I really do admire women a lot, but I wouldn't say like I'm attracted in a way that I am to a man, to where to where I would be with a woman. Like, you know, I just don't see that for myself, like being yeah, with a woman or nothing. But you never really know yourself too. You know yourself, so I don't know. But I'ma just say no. <laughs> I never been with a girl, or nothing like when I was a kid. I probably like kissed a girl or something, but I was a kid, so you know. How many people have you kissed this year? How many how many months has it been? Six months? Okay, cool. Um, three. I kissed three people this year. I know it's crazy. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Ooh, these just, okay. How many people am I currently talking to right now? I'm only talking to like talking to only one person right now, but I'm I've really been in a phase where I just been dating candy, but like as of now I'm only talking to one person, so we it's cool I'm kicking it. I used I ain't gonna let I give y'all the tea for real, like I used to be doing my thing, like having my fun, but after a while like all of that kinda get 
you know, washed up. Like, just talking to people, try to tell it. So, I'm at a stage where I can really go without talking to nobody all day. But right now, I do be talking to one person. And y'all seen who I said I had my eyes on, I guess. Um, the last time I had sex. Baby, one thing about it, I don't be doing nothing. Y'all gonna probably think I'm crazy, but I don't, I don't be doing nothing. It's, and a lot of people find it hard to believe, but rare as possible, I'm rare. You're not gonna find a lot of me, but I don't be doing anything. Somebody said, can they have me if they want me? No, you're not my type. I wouldn't even do it if I was a little bit. I don't think it'll work. No, no, no. It wouldn't work. And oh, and another thing too, baby. I be saying you post your girlfriend, so it's like, what's to that? You actually said that and then posted your girlfriend, so it was like, so it's definitely no. Like it's a definite no. Like that's the most dumbest thing anybody could do. Like try to talk to me and have a girl. So it's like you want me to talk to you, but you don't need. Why would I talk to you? When I can talk to you while you with your girl. That just makes no sense to me, personally. I don't know. <laughs> Would I prefer a movie date or a dinner date? Um, I look you like comfort and like being able to just chill and relax. And if you kind of like, it depends what stage in the relationship but if you kind of like my person, I would want to be up under you like off the cool. Like you could still eat at the movie. And I like movie food, movie wings. I love um, some chocolate and a slushy. That's probably what I prefer. But I do like to eat real food too. So if I did go to dinner, that would be cool. But I don't know. I would pick comfort over. I, I don't know. It depends. I feel like it's not all that like. I'd rather go to the movies, Candy. Do I miss my ex? That's a good question. No, I don't miss my ex. Um, me and my ex took a really long time ago. And it's like, it's nothing to really miss. I don't know. Like, and then when I talk to my ex, he's a little bit older than me. And I feel like I grew with, I grew into my age. Like, I grew up how I was supposed to. And I feel like my ex is older. But it's like, he reminded me when he was still young. We talk when he was like 15. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't think that's going to work. Like, I'm all about growth and like growing up. And like being at certain levels at certain ages in my life, and I feel like I'm doing good. But you know, I, that's the reason. That's one of the. I'm not even telling him, but that's one of the biggest reasons why I wouldn't really talk to him. Cause I feel like for him to be as much older as he is, it just wouldn't work. Like I don't think that's gonna go like that. But me and my ex, we decent. Like I'm gonna call him, he's gonna pick up all day. But I don't talk to my ex. We not a communication. Like we don't just kick it or nothing like that. But it's not no smoke either. So. I don't miss him though. What is a sign that you talk to that made you never want to talk to that sign again? Um, definitely Capricorns. I don't think I could do another Capricorn. I'm sorry. I didn't talk to so many Capricorns. And Capricorn used to be my favorite sign. Like, I feel like I attract Capricorns. I like Capricorns. Like, and that's the problem. I like them so much. I hate them. Like, my first ever Capricorn I ever talked to was. I how old was I? I was down. I was in middle school. And I've been hooked. Like, I love Capricorns. But the last person that I seriously dealt with was a Capricorn. And I just realized, like, Capricorns, they very, like, in competition like, in relationships. Like, they very sensitive. Like, I don't know what's up with that. Or maybe the, the type of dudes I was talking to, they were just girly. I don't know. I can't do it again. I just can't. I can't do it again. I can't do it again. But one of my, y'all ain't asked me, but one of my favorite uh, fans, I'm going to do a fan. But one of my favorite signs is um, Aries. I love Aries. That's my favorite sign to talk to. Like, they so aggressive and they like real lovers. Like, they don't even play none of the game. They play with you. They what? Who? Who? What? Yeah, I'm here. That's how they is. I like that. Like, I love. It's another lover. I love Aries. That's one of my favorite signs. One of my signs I'm very compatible with in friendship is Virgos and Gemini's. We very compatible. I love Gemini. It's like odd right, too, cause Gemini's don't get a lot of rep, but I like them. And yeah, I had a Capricorn friend, so they cool. Kind of boring. I don't know. Girl, Capricorns is kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie. I like Cancers as friends. They cool and Leos. Let's get to the point. <laughs> How tall are you? Um, I'm fat three even. Is that a thing? Fat three even. Fat three straight. Fat.
glasses. All that. That's how tall I am. I'm either that or like closer to five four, but I'm not really that tall. But I'm not. I wouldn't consider myself a short girl. People meet me and they be like, oh, you kinda, you kind of short." Like I didn't think I thought she was taller. I guess I look taller on Instagram, but yeah, I'm not a tall girl at all. Like I'm kind of little, and I feel like I'm slimmer in person. So I don't know. Slam, turn around, bow. Who is somebody that you would never commit to again after already committing to them? So somebody I talked to my past time. Like, um, probably the last person I talked to. I'm not supposed to say their name. I need somebody to hold me accountable. I don't know. But y'all don't know them, so. But probably the last person I talked to, I wouldn't commit to them. Um, y'all want to know why this is special? <laughs> Um, I wouldn't commit to the last person I talked to again because I wasn't really committed though. We was like talking on some two weeks. Is that committed? I guess, yeah, because I was only talking to him. I wasn't trying to. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't talk to him again on the series. I don't know. People just kind of show they hurt. I feel like sometimes people be talking to you and they be trying to find themselves and you like talking to. Them. Like I don't know. People be people be searching for something and talking to you while they doing it. And you don't even know. And I feel as though you never know who somebody miss, who somebody trying to get over, or who somebody waiting on. So it just be a lot of things that taught me. But also in that situation, I learned um, what I wanted moving forward, and I could be thankful for that. That was something that I wanted to experience. But I feel like when I met that person, it was like it was something. It was something I had to wait for. Now it wasn't really much I could complain about, except for that sassy ass attitude. But that's I wouldn't commit again. Why don't I take the dude serious? Um, I feel like anybody on on the camera they wouldn't notice. But like people in real life, baby, I don't know. I'm the type like I'm I'm like I don't know. I don't want to be the person that just throw it at y'all. But I'm like I'm the type of girl I get my way, so I be having my way. And like, I be knowing like I don't really have to do too much like i don't have to take nobody serious for real and i feel like some people don't take themselves serious so it's like do you ever just talk to certain like people think this is not a thing but you talk to certain guys like you be knowing already they're not really boyfriend and certain like they just like good time like they just cool look cool shit like that's that's what be going on so that's how that go for me like i don't know i be feeling like people don't really know themselves enough for you to take them serious a person don't know themselves, they can't really get to know you. And I always be feeling like, me being how old I am and young, I be feeling like I ain't going to really find nobody to be more settled. But it's, I'm changing my perspective a little bit. Cause life's starting to shift a little bit. But I be feeling like that. But I don't know, it be hard for me to just take people serious. And I feel like, I'm really like a, I don't know, I think I got a lot of things that I don't know I got. Because when I talk to people, I feel like people are more attracted to like, Like my aura, like who I am, what they think I can, like stuff like that. And they really mess with me too, but they like the way I can help them. But it just be odd to me. Like I don't know. So it's like I be trying to be careful. Like I even had a homie tell me, like I just don't want you to do the wrong thing. Cause I feel like dudes be trying to talk to you because of what you got and who you are. Like, and I'm like, damn, really? Like I'm just what I got. What do I got? <laughs> But no, I do have a lot going for myself and I do have a lot of potential, but it's just like this shit it's still little still right now, so it's like this little shit, y'all trying to be <laughs> What was one of the worst YouTube shoots I filmed in? Like what was I guess what was one of the worst Um One of my one of my second YouTube shoots I did. March. It was one of the worst shows. It was just too much waiting. Like we was waiting too long. It was not organized. Like I was irritated. Like, I was very much annoyed. You know, after so much waiting, it was like, okay, we gonna start already. And then by the time it was time for the video, like I didn't even feel like the video. My camera presence was so bad in that video. Like I was ready to go. Alright, y'all, that's the end of this video. Tune in, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.